Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 16 lock screen widgets from third party apps. Of course, we're still on beta and these apps are still on beta as well. You can install them through test slide, which is an app that Apple provides that of course allows us to test out apps that are still on beta. And these of course will be released to the general public after the public release of iOS 16. So in this video, I will just show you guys how they work and what can actually be done with lock screen widgets on iOS 16. Now, another thing that can be done right now is you subscribe to the channel. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed. So go ahead and tap that subscribe button. It really helps out a lot. And of course, if you enjoy the video, make sure to smash the like button. All right, we're starting things with countdown. Now this allows you to add countdown. So of course you can have track of different dates that are important like birthdays or different events that you have going on. Now with the lock screen widgets, you can have these countdowns on the lock screen of your device. Of course you create the countdowns from the app right here. Then once you're on the lock screen, you can go ahead and add them to the lock screen. You tap on customize, of course, tap here to go ahead and add your widgets and right here we'll find countdowns. You tap on it and you will have two different sizes of widgets. You will have the bigger one, which of course will display a lot of more information. You will have the title of the countdown, the date, and of course, how many days and hours have been left. And you will have also a smaller one. You tap here to add the countdown. Now what you can do here is of course, tap once more. If you go ahead and just tap here, you can choose between different countdowns that you have on the app and choose whichever one you want to display there. So you will have the upcoming, which is of course, the most recent event that will happen or any one that you pick manually. The next app for the video is called Paku and it will actually display the air quality in your city or your location. So for this to work, you will need to have location services turned on. Now on the lock screen of your device, you can add of course the widget from this app. So let's go ahead and try this out and see how it looks. So adding the widget, you can see here we have Paku and we have again two different sizes. So you will have the bigger one with more details and the smaller one, which will show just the air quality right there. Now, if you tap on this, you can go ahead and go to source. You have nearby or sensor and of course choose whichever one you want to display on the lock screen of your device. But again, this looks actually quite cool. Now, of course, you can always customize these. If you just don't like the colors of the widgets, you can do this, of course, with every other widget. You can go ahead and change the colors from here. Next up is Parcel. Now, with Parcel, you will be able to track your packages. Anytime you have a package being delivered to you, you can just add the tracking number by simply tapping the plus button right here, and you can have your package tracked. Well, with this app, now you can just have it on the lock screen of your device. So you don't need, need to use the app, don't need to use home screen widgets. You can have it displayed right on the lock screen every time you go here. So tap on customize and of course tap here. Let's just remove these. And here we will have the, the widgets from Parcel. Again, you will have a smaller one and a bigger one. You tap on it, you have your package right on the lock screen so you can go ahead and track it from here. If you tap on it, you can choose here which delivery you wanna have there. So if you have multiple ones, you can tap here and choose whichever one you want from the list. Or you can of course go ahead and also change here the color theme and then widget opens so you can choose here what does the widget open so when you tap on the widget you want to go straight to that package or you just want to simply open the app next up is contacts widget now this one is really useful it allows us to have your favorites or most useful contacts in the lock screen of your device so you can go ahead and call them directly from there it's pretty cool it's pretty simple to use as well you go ahead and create a widget here simply by adding one of the contacts from your contact list and here we'll have your current widget so you will have three different slots and of course you go ahead and check right there the contact that you have on that widget you can of course choose here a photo as a display right there or just an icon or just choose an image from the camera roll of your device once you're done with this, you can go ahead and add it to the lock screen of your device. And let's see how it looks here. So let's just tap here and here we have contact widgets. I can go ahead and add the contact from here. And once I'm done here, I can just go ahead and call this contact directly from the lock screen of my device. So simply 
tap on it and you will be able to actually call that contact but right now my device is on airplane mode but again it will just go to the call screen lock launcher is the next app for the video now this one is super useful i did a dedicated video on this app because it's really interesting it allows us to open any app you want from the lock screen of your device simply open the app tap the plus button and you can choose here any link or app that you want to open from the lock screen of your device once you choose that you can go ahead and select an image from here so you can choose an app icon if it's an app you can just search for the name of the app and find the icon a symbol or just any picture you want from the camera roll of your device and then just click on save it will be saved right here so you can have up to four different apps on the lock screen of your device so let's just go ahead try this out as well let's just remove this and here we have lock launcher and we have here of course a widget we can go ahead and add multiple of these and then just tap on one of them and choose what we want to open with that one so just go ahead tap on it and just choose whichever app you want to open and then of course you will be able to open any of these apps directly from the lock screen of your device next up social stats it allows us to have your followers on the lock screen of your device you open the app and of course add your account right here so you can choose different things like instagram youtube maybe facebook twitter whatever you want you add your account there and it displays like this on the lock screen of your device what you can do is just tap here to customize it and then just go ahead and add the widget here so again you will have two different sizes if i add the bigger one it displays more information of course tapping there it allows you to go ahead and choose whichever account you want to display there so of course if you have a list of accounts you can choose it from there you can enable a background or not for this widget and you can see how cool that looks once you add it you will have all your stats right on the lock screen and last but not least, debit and credit allows you, of course, to track your budget, your expenses, and all that. Once you have added everything you need on the app, then on the lock screen, you can have your widgets displaying your information. Tap on customize, and here we have debit and credit, and you will have the smaller one, which will show your budget, and then you will have the scheduled transa transactions. If you have any one of them, it will display them right here. Tapping on it, you can choose the color, so you can choose system, or just choose any other color you want, and you're good to go. Just like that, you will have your budget being displayed right on the lock screen of your device. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I will try to find the test flight links for all of these apps even though I'm not sure I have all of them and pin them right on the comments below so if you want to try out any of these apps you can go ahead and try out them from there. Thank you guys for watching the video, leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.